Hi, welcome. It's Monday, April 2nd, and I felt guided today to offer you a card reading for your week and then also for the month of April. So I'm going to use uh, a deck by Doreen Virtues, the Unicorn deck. I might be guided during the reading to use other decks that I have, so we'll see what happens. And also, I'm going to be using a couple cards from a deck I created back when I did my last certification course. It's the Healing Dove Therapy deck. So there's a compass in the back and it mostly has words. These, uh, this deck does not have pictures on it just yet. So here is the reading. So I am intending that this uh, reading be for your week and that whoever comes into contact with this, these cards in this reading be for their highest and best. Okay. All right, so I am going to pull a couple goddess cards I'm feeling guided to do here. Okay, good. So I see here that there are three cards on top and two cards on the bottom. And when I tune in to my angels and my guides and even just to the cards, I feel like these cards, there's an issue at hand and there's maybe two options that we could pick. There might be uh, two paths that people are trying to decipher or decide which way to go. So we're just asking for guidance today and this might be coming through to give us some guidance. And then there's three cards on top and these I feel represent who we are, who we are in essence, what we actually are. And I'm sorry if you can't see these here. Okay, so the three unicorn decks on, on top of the cards. And then the two are the options. So let's see who we are in essence. Okay, what's coming with us? So we have the card change, and this card, you can really see that there's strength, that there is strength in you, there is strength in the person that's looking at this card because they are full of energy, there is momentum, but there is a change coming and they're not sure whether they want to walk to a new door that's opening for them or not. You can see this horse here, this unicorn, is looking with a little bit of hesitation. But there is momentum and there's a decision there. Now, this is also, there's an energy behind the, the unicorn of, of a long path traveled. I see a long row of trees behind him and it's a path long traveled. So there is a sense of arriving. There is a sense of finally having a place to come home to. And there's a long path behind this horse again. There is change coming. Will this person know whether to go through or not? That is, uh, that we will see what the cards say with the rest. But again, so this is a time of change. There's a time of making decisions and maybe not knowing which path to take. Okay. Um, I would say this horse is probably not going to turn back around and go back through the long path. This horse is probably going to keep moving forward. Now, the next card is Brothers and Sisters. Now, I don't always pay attention to what the words say. I often focus on the picture because the picture will tell you everything that you need to know with the colors, the momentum, uh, just which direction the, the, the figures and the pictures are looking towards. So here, I do see a lot of chaos in this card. I do see that there is perhaps a relationship that is... There's a sense of hesitation here. Do we follow each other or do we not? So, um, and again, to get along with others, see the love and the best within them, of course. So this is a close relationship where maybe not everyone is, is looking in the same direction. Now I'm looking at the next card and it does say, it does show me, I apologize for that. It does show me that one person is looking one way and the other the other way. So listen to your true feelings. So one of the two, somebody uh, on your path might feel, or one of you on the path, if it's you listening to me today, you might feel like, mm, I need to go in another direction. Okay, so um, there's still a lot of love in this card, but I do see some cords. I do see the vines around the unicorn. So there are some cords to be cut. There are some things to be released, which uh, if you know how to do, you know, you just call an Archangel Michael to sever those cords for you with love, sending love to the person uh, on the other end, if you know who it is. All right, so again, uh, as I was saying, there is change coming, there is a new door coming through. There might have been a relationship, uh, a duo with someone that might be coming to an end because one of the other is looking in a different direction. 
Okay, so now here are the two paths. Okay. One includes practicing, and one includes more letting go and going with the flow. Okay. So I would say one path involves music, dancing, performance, um, growing, okay, because there's a sense of dance and, and, and movement here, there's a sense of artistic possibilities for you here. And then on the other one, it feels much more peaceful, it feels much more going with the flow, it feels more like more passive. You know, the water kind of flows down. Now, water flows down, but it doesn't mean it's not effective. Water could be flowing down and still, you know, carve entire canyons down a mountain. So just because somebody is, is more of a water, um, a water element doesn't mean that it's not effective. Okay? So as you can see, there is power in this card as well, but it's more, I would say there's a healing a healing energy here, and the heart healing energy, um, because of the green, the trees, that's very much about the heart, the heart chakra. Okay, now there is bondage on this card as well, so there is a sense that it might be a little less um, free. There's less freedom in this card, there's more restraining, feeling restrained, feeling bonded to a place, feeling like the person may not be able to move forward and also feeling stuck and you know as she is at the end of a precipice so I would almost feel like um, this it's a path that if it is chosen might lead to um, going downward not upwards versus this card if it's chosen is much more about moving upwards and there is if you can see in the background uh, uh, a man playing uh, an instrument so there's no there's a lot less loneliness on this card so I would say one aspect of the change coming could be that you're choosing, uh, if there's a move coming or a door coming through, which one to pick. All right, so what could then help us with the Healing Dove Therapy cards that I was so blessed to channel and um, to create for my last course? And I do believe we will do another one this spring, so if you're able to join us, that would be fantastic. So see how one just jump, jumped out of the deck. Um, I didn't try to really pick one. So this one is pillar number one. It says letting go. And I will read it to you. Why haven't I manifested blank yet? When is it coming? So very often we um, ask ourselves, why haven't I manifested this? Why am I not manifesting this? It seems like you're doing everything right to get it. You're letting go. You're asking to have it. You're maybe even looking for it, and it's asking, when, you know, when is it coming? And the card says, if you are asking these questions, it could mean you are still wanting it, which means you are in lack of it and may not be vibrationally aligned with having it. It takes releasing want to be a vibrational match to having. So this card is really inviting you to realize that the more you want something, the less you can have it because you're in vibrationally, you're in lack. If you want a card, it means you don't have one. If you want a spouse, it means you don't have one, right? So to move out of wanting into having, you've got to let go of wanting it, okay? Now, you're letting go of wanting it. It doesn't mean you're letting go of manifesting it. You're just letting go of being in want of it. So the way you get to that place is you just, you know, you need to meditate on this and do some releasing, but you got to get to be a hundred percent okay if you never ever have it. So you have to think of your objective and your goal and you still get to a place of being a hundred percent okay if you don't have it. And you might feel stuck, there might be some resistance, there might be some fear to release because when you imagine never and ever having it, it might seem crazy, it might seem like that wouldn't be fair. But it, in reality, if you let go of wanting it again, it will come faster. Now, try it. Try it and see if it works for you. Okay? Um, this isn't something you have to do, but I would recommend it because it's worked for many, many people that I've known, many people that I've known that has been able to move into having many, many things come to them because they've let go of actually being in wanting of it. And then the opposite to that is, can you be 100% okay if you always have it? So the card is saying, can you be 100% okay if you never ever have it? And can you be 100% okay if you do have it? Because a lot of people want something and then they actually have an aversion or an opposition to getting it. So it's the kind of subconscious belief 
comes in and can sabotage some of our goals. But so then the card asks you, can you be hootless? Not giving a hoot. Can you be hootless either way, whether you have it or not? Because no matter what, you are free, you are beautiful, and you are whole. So this card is just helping you remember that at the end of the day, you are free. It's a decision. You are beautiful and you are whole, whether you have that goal or not. And can you just go with the flow and be happy either way? So I hope this helps you for your week. And I will do the one for the month in just a second. Thank you for watching.